sweet friends welcome back to another weekly vlog it is tuesday today liam and i got home from the coast yesterday afternoon and so today has kind of felt like a monday and i feel like my whole week is gonna feel a bit odd but i did have a really productive day today just at my computer all day so far you guys know the drill but i finished up with my computer work and i have a couple of errands to run and i've actually finished pretty much everything on my to-do list for today i need to go to the post office and send out a package and then i also have a hold at the library that is ready for me to pick up so i'm gonna go pick that up and then i think i might even just spend a couple of hours at the library reading i might even go have a look in big w at the books just for a browse i think i've spoken about this before i'm trying to be better about book buying and i have like a quota that i'm allowed to meet each month and i have met that for this month so i can't be buying any more books until october which is only a few days away so i'm honestly pretty proud of that but i think i might just go have a look and see what's on my wish list if that makes sense let's go get these little things done so that i can enjoy some reading I had a really nice time just sitting there and reading. I definitely want to do that more often, but I thought I'd give you a little quick library haul. I just found some really good books today. I was really shocked that some of these books existed at the library, I guess. Starting off with the one that I reserved, we have Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I have read every other one of her books and I don't really know why I haven't read this yet. I think it's just because I don't think I've seen it in Australian bookstores so I'd have to get it online which is not the worst thing in the world but I recently found out that they had it at my library so I snagged that and I'm so excited to read that. I just think reserving things is so cool because you just go and it's just on a shelf, has your name in it and you just pick it off and borrow it. I don't know, I just think it's so cool because they literally like go and find it for you from all the different library like campuses and they just... Anyway, you guys know I'm becoming obsessed with my library. I also found Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood, which is the author of The Love Hypothesis. This is her newest release, and it actually is probably only about a month old, just over a month old. And I was actually planning on buying this, but they had a bunch of copies at my library. So exciting. So I'm intrigued because I've heard some mixed reviews about that one. The rest of the ones I got were from the YA section. First of all, we have Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I haven't read anything by this author and I've heard incredible things. I've just been put off buying it because I hate the spines of the Australian covers. We'll see if I like this one. I have a feeling I will, but I'm really glad that I get to like try it out and see if I'm going to like it with a library copy first. And if I really love it, I might end up buying my own. If I'm not obsessed with it, then I might just borrow the rest out from the library as well. I also got this book, which I haven't heard anyone talk about. Well, I hate saying that because I'm like, I'm sure many people have read this book, but I just haven't heard any reviews is what I'm trying to say. This is called Clean by Juno Dawson. I've always been really intrigued by the cover. I've seen it in a bunch of bookstores and been so close to buying it so many times, but apparently it's about a socialite who hits rock bottom, overdoses, and then has to go to a rehab facility. But it looks like it's going to be a bit of a romance and I just love reading about rich people drama. So socialite, I'm assuming rich, but we'll see. And then lastly, a Sarah Dessen book. I have never seen Sarah Dessen in Australia and I'm not sure if I'm just not looking in the right places, but they had a bunch of her books at my library and I have just heard so much about her. So all I've heard about her books are they are quite cheesy, just like fun little YA rom-coms or YA romances. I don't know if they're heavy or not. I don't know. I'm not going to lie, the covers are pretty ugly on most of the ones I saw at the library, so I don't really want to buy them. But this one is apparently about a girl who's an insomniac, and she meets a guy, Eli, who is also an insomniac, and they just go on adventures during the summer nights, and that just sounds like so much fun. So I'm excited to try out her writing and see if it's for me. But yeah, those are the books that I picked up today from the library. Huge fan. Love the library. Hello friends, happy Wednesday. I have just been working all morning. Today is an Instagram focused day and I have made a mess because I have spent the last couple hours just getting content. Let me show you what our house looks like right now. So I've been getting content for 
Rachel Catherine, Rach Reads, and Future You. So there's stuff here. Absolute mess in here. This is just all my outfits really as I've been changing. There are just random books everywhere. We have some food props going on. I've been shooting a lot in our guest bedroom, so we have clothes, we have books, bags, computer, a fake cup of coffee for a photo. Is that inauthentic of me? I'm unsure. I do drink coffee, but I just need one for a photo. And then this is our, oh, this is bad. <laughs> we have shoes, we have a little stool, we have books everywhere. We have this mirror that's usually in our bedroom. And now it's time to clean it all up, <laughs> which is fine. It's just obviously not the most fun part, but I think I got a package. Never mind, I do not. Turns out the email just said that it's on its way. It'll probably be here today, but haven't got it yet. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> so I'm just gonna listen to an audiobook and clean up this mess that I've just made. It is 1.30 p.m. and I finished with my Instagram work for the day. Just had my lunch break, heading off to the gym to do an upper body session. First session of the week. Didn't go Monday, didn't go Tuesday, but we're still gonna have an active and productive week. I'm gonna go and maybe do a bit of a walk. I only have a couple things left on my to-do list for this afternoon, so let's go. We have a package. I told you guys last week, I made an order from Roundhouse, which is like homewares. We got gifted some stuff from there at the Pedal and Pup X Georgie Stevenson event. And they also gave us a voucher. Homewares is just my favorite thing to shop for. I think I also might make another order from Pillow Talk later this week because they're having a sale. I need to chill. First of all, we have some placemats. How cute are these colors? They're just like, I don't even know what this material is. Ah, but I just love how they're very simple, and very minimal, but they're still fun because they've got colors and they've got not a scalloped edging, but like a wavy kind of edge. And I'm assuming I'll just be able to pop them in the wash if I need to wash them. So they're really fun. The only place mats I have right now are like the woven baskety kind of ones, which are also very cute, but I'm just trying to slowly over the years expand my hosting collection. Like have different plates and different napkins and all that sort of stuff so that I can have fun themed hosting nights and just have something for every occasion. But I think those ones that I just showed you are gonna become like our everyday place mats. Then I picked up two new plates, just the same ones that I already have, but one of each. So we have another chili plate, cause I already have one of those and another lemon plate. Cause I already have one of those. So now I have a set of four, technically not matching, but like two of each is nice. And then I also lastly got a little serving bowl. It is, I don't want to say small. I was wondering if I'd even be able to use it as a fruit bowl. It's a little bit too small for that probably. Yeah, that's super nice. And it just says, feed me in pink all around the bottom. Super simple, but super cute. I am currently on a, I'm currently on a Zoom call, but it's something that I'm just like attending, so I don't really have to speak. But I'm so terrified that my mic is not muted. But I'm pretty sure it is, and my camera's not on either, because it is just not necessary for this. I'm just attending like an information night for something that I'm intrigued about. But this is terrifying, I never use Zoom. It's stressful. But I have my little notebook, and I'm gonna take some notes. I feel like I'm in class again. <laughs> Kind of fun. I'm gonna get back to this because I think they're about to start. At the end of tonight, if that is something that you are wanting to do. We do have a camp every year because uh, we do think that we can, we can ask any questions that you have and then Good morning friends, happy Thursday. I have just spent the morning working. Put this back in the kitchen. I am notorious for leaving my mugs in my office all day. But it is 11.30 on the dot. And I have just been mostly filming this morning. This afternoon, I'm going on a bit of a hike which I'm so excited about. Very spontaneous. One of my friends messaged me last night and she's like, hey, if you're just going on a hike tomorrow, do you wanna come? And I was like, why not? Basically I had work to do today, but I was like, I reckon if I hustle, I can get most of it done in the morning because the hike was like planned at 12.30. I'm gonna head off to one of my other friend's houses 
in about 20 minutes, meet all the girls there, and then we're gonna head off. We're going to Purling Brook, which is, I think, in Springbrook or around that area. Um, I've never been there before, I haven't done that hike before, so I have like no idea what to expect, but I'm excited. I know there's a water. They're doing renovations behind our house, at like the place behind our house. Sorry about that. But yeah, don't know what to expect. I know there's a waterfall and I'm really excited for that. friends good morning it is like 7 a.m i have my coffee i'm sitting at my desk today is a pretty chill day which is really nice i'm pretty much just editing today you've probably noticed this week i've had a bit of a focus on like separating my days into different big tasks oh i need to go to the gym today i haven't planned out my day yet first of all i feel like this week has flown by i think because liam and i were away came back monday so monday well, I did work on Monday, but only like a half day. Tuesday was pretty much editing. Wednesday was Instagram. Yesterday was filming. Well, like a half day, because then I went on the hike. And then today is editing. And it's actually been working really well. I don't know if I'll keep this routine up forever, but I kind of like having just like one main focus for the day. And it doesn't mean that I don't do anything else, but it's kind of like, this is the big job for today. And then here are the other things on my to-do list, I guess. My friends always get mad at me because I always have smudged iPhone cameras and normal cameras. And this is probably not the best way to clean it. All the photographers out there are probably screaming at me. But let's plan our day together. I used this little notebook. It's from um, Stationery Pal. I've actually almost finished it. I only have like a few pages left. So I need to maybe order a new one because it has like an important section and then just like normal to do's memo and then like a time table, like a schedule for the day broken up by hour. Like I'll start by putting in my lunch because I always take like an hour for lunch. And then I'll probably go to the gym in the afternoon today. I reckon like one to 2.30 I'll put it in for because I have been enjoying the afternoon sessions lately. It's Friday and I've only done one session. I did go on a hike yesterday. So like I, I've still been moving, but I definitely haven't kept up with my session so I'll probably have to go today and over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday as well, which is fine. Then at the moment it's like seven. So I will put in, we'll do three hours of editing this morning. What else do I have to do today? Uh, one thing I would really love to do today is go to Kmart because I know they have their Christmas stuff out. And I know it sounds really dumb because it's literally September today. It's the last day of September today. But Liam and I don't have Christmas decorations. Well, we have a couple because last year we were moving over Christmas. So we didn't set up a Christmas tree or like have decorations or anything. And unfortunately, Christmas decorations sell out really quickly. Like some of them. Some of them don't, some of them do. And some of them are restocked and some of them aren't. And so I think I might want to go have a look at Kmart firstly, just to see what they have. But secondly, if they have any cute stuff, I might like buy it and just put it away until Christmas because I don't want to miss out on all the cute stuff. Maybe that can be an afternoon thing today. I feel like there was something else I wanted to do. Okay, anyway, in the little priority section every day, I put pretty much the same thing. So I put quiet time, which is just like time where I read my Bible and like pray, just like my time with God. Then I also put movement and I don't really mind if that means like a walk or a hike or going to the gym or I don't know, playing tennis or something. I don't play tennis, but like some sort of movement. I also always put nonfiction. I try and read 10 pages of a nonfiction book every day and clear emails. Those are the four things I try and do every single day. As for general to do, I would like to edit my wrap up. I think I have over an hour of footage for that, so that's not going to be fun. I need to make thumbnail for that one and schedule it hopefully i can get it up today actually i would also like to do some editing on my weekly vlog so i don't leave it all for next week instagram story like sponsored ones probably reply to some comments work wise that might be it. Basically my goal each week is do majority of my work at the start of the week. So like at the start of the week, I'll like plan my week out and try and do most of my work Monday through Wednesday because I feel like things always come up. So like yesterday I got invited on a hike last minute and I was supposed to edit yesterday, but I really wanted to go on the hike. So I have moved my editing to today, but I had nothing planned for today. So that ended up working out really well. But because I did most of my work at the start of the week, I end up having time at the end of the week to either catch up or if things take longer than I thought they were gonna take, I have time at the end of the week to do it. Or if social things come up that I was planning for, but it just didn't leave me enough time earlier in the week to get all my work done. Going back to my timetable, I always block out five to 6 p.m. to cook. 
it doesn't usually take me an hour but doing this makes me like forces me to finish my work at five and then I block out six to seven to eat dinner it doesn't take us an hour to eat dinner but Liam and I just like to hang out and then tonight we're doing our bible study together so I'll block out from seven to eight because we were supposed to do it last night but I ended up getting home really late and so I need to do my readings today because I haven't done we're going through acts together at the moment. So now that I've blocked out like lunch, gym, and then like dinner, Bible study and stuff like that, it kind of shows me what time I have apart from that. So I know that I have some free time this afternoon. If I get all of my editing done this morning, I could definitely go to Kmart this afternoon. But if I don't get it done this afternoon, then I could even go later tonight because they close at like nine. It might be fun to go tonight because I feel like it's less busy at like 8 p.m. <laughs> we will see. If I get my wrap up done quickly, I'd love to get my TBR done as well and my weekly vlog. And I'm also filming a reading vlog at the moment. We have a lot going on. I don't know if any of that's interesting, but that's kind of how I roughly plan out my days. It is now much later in the day. I just went and hung out with my mom for a bit and I've decided to go to Kmart. I'm so excited. <laughs> so he can see my haul. I actually got you a present. Did you see it? No. Actually? Yeah. Wait, I'll just get my... You can't look yet. Yeah. This will be a surprise. First up, candle. We we're running out of some candles. We burnt through a few, so we got a couple more. I also got another candle. This one's really nice. Mmm, I like that one. You'll have to smell them. This is what it looks like. It looks really stunning, and I can use them as like pots or something afterwards. Okay, are you ready for your present? Are they gnomes? Yeah, I know it. This one has braids, little pigtails. It's a girl. It's gonna get burnt. <laughs> it is <laughs> not. <laughs> and. More kindling. No, I get some every season, every year. Okay, now I actually did get you a present. <laughs> Cause yours got shrunk. Do you wanna smell the candles? vibing with the hats lately. It's a mix of, I think they're just fun and also my skin's really bad so I want it to be less visible and I feel like I'm just like sheltered with my hat. <laughs> it's Saturday afternoon and I'm heading out to go op shopping. I haven't gone op shopping in a while where I just like go to a bunch in one day and so I was like, I'm kind of in the mood to look at some books and some homewares. I don't really care too much about the clothes at the moment. I go through phases where I'm like only looking at the books, only looking at the homewares, only looking at furniture or clothes or whatever it may be. Today I'm in the mood for books and a little bit of homewares. The only homewares I would consider purchasing is anything that would help me with my hosting, like any cute glassware or like, I don't, I've never, I haven't really seen a lot of placemats and things. I do really want a new casserole dish that's like an in-between size of the ones that I have because I have a small one and I have a really large one, but I don't have a middle, middle, medium sized one. So if I see one that looks good, I might grab it. And then obviously always looking for books. So let's go see what we can find. I'm definitely gonna hit up two. And then if I still feel like going to more, I'll drive to a few more, but we'll see how we're feeling. When you're not so fragile, fragile. When you know yourself well. home and we had a I would say successful not like super successful but like successful enough shopping trip I think I picked out four books no homewares didn't really find anything that I loved or that was like a good price I found a bunch of casserole dishes that were like 15 20 dollars and I was like that's just 
more than I was hoping to pay for something that I can find in Kmart. I just thought they'd be less expensive than that. Anyway, let's talk about the books that I found. I feel like the books that I found aren't like the best op shop finds I've ever found, but I'm still happy with them. So first of all, I came across so many copies of Vampire Academy at pretty much every op shop that I went to. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick one up. Mostly because I've just seen a lot of hype about it recently since the TV show came out. I never read it when I was younger. I think a lot of people did. But I've always seen a lot of hype about this. Pretty much as long as I've been on BookTube or been watching BookTube, I've heard people talk about Vampire Academy. I don't know if it's good or if it's one of those series that is supposed to be like almost like so bad that it's good, you know? Um, and I hope this is the first book. I think it is. But if it's good, maybe I'll go back and get the second one or the rest of the series. But I don't know, I'm intrigued. It just like, kind of sounds like a bit of fun. Maybe I'll read this this month, spooky season vibes. I'm not really someone who reads according to the season or reads according to the holidays. Maybe this could be a vibe. We'll see. I'm hesitant towards that one. Then I also found The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. Hopefully that's the correct pronunciation. This is the author of Me Before You. I haven't read that book. I did see the movie years ago, but for some reason I have this specific book by her on this list that I have on my phone. And this list that I have, I add to it every time someone that I really trust recommends a book that I genuinely think sounds so good and then when it comes to birthdays and Christmases or if I'm at the bookstore or something and I'm like oh what what have I been wanting for a while I'll go through that list and this book is on that list and as soon as I saw the title I was like I definitely know that's on my little like wish list that I have but I cannot remember for the life of me who recommended it, why it was recommended to me, why I thought it sounded like such a great recommendation. The back of it sounds interesting but not necessarily something that I would like jump on so if any of you have read this and enjoyed it please let me know i'm intrigued to try and remember why i wrote it on my wish list but i mean i'm glad i found it for like two dollars <laughs> the next one is not super interesting this is lolita by vladimir nabo this is this is the book i try and collect these little orange penguin classics whenever i see them in op shops because I just think it'll be really cool to have a library with a bunch of these little orange penguin classics one day in my future. So whenever I see them really really cheap at op shops I pick them up. I honestly don't know if I'll read Lolita just because it's a pretty heavy book. Kind of along the same vibes as My Dark Vanessa from what I've heard. So I don't know if it's something that I'm really- like it might be one of those books I'll pick up at some point I just don't really know when but I saw this it was a dollar couldn't say no and then lastly is a i'm pretty sure this is non-fiction i got i catch killers the life and many deaths of a homicide detective and so i think this is yeah the stories of a homicide detective i guess him just telling yeah stories of what he's seen in his many many years in his career which just sounds very very interesting to me and again this is one of those books that i saw months ago and i was like that looks so interesting i'd really love to read that but it's just like not the top of my list like if i'm gonna spend 20 dollars on a book it's probably not this one but then seeing it for two dollars i'm like I will get that. I've been really enjoying memoirs lately. I've read a couple this year. I don't know when I'll get to this, but I do want to read more memoirs specifically next year. I've just been enjoying memoirs a lot, and I think people just have a lot of interesting things to say, I guess, and people just live really interesting lives. So I want to make more of an effort to read memoirs next year, and this may not technically be a memoir because I'm not sure if it's necessarily about his life. It might more so just be a like stories from his job kind of gives me the same vibe because he's still kind of just telling you about his life and his experiences but those are all the books that i picked up today i think i spent under ten dollars which is amazing four new books we love to see it good evening friends we are heading off on a little date night going to a restaurant that we haven't been to before i have been very lazy with getting ready today i'm not wearing any makeup i put some mascara on and i was like that's all i'm doing <laughs> i just don't feel like wearing makeup today, which is fine. But how cute is my bag? I haven't used this one yet. This is one of the ones that Peter and Jane sent me a couple weeks back and I've been really excited to use it. And tonight I think is the night. I'm wearing some Archer pants from Princess Polly. My belt is from Princess Polly. And then I've just got white sneakers and I'm bringing a leather jacket as well, just in case. We're going to a steak restaurant. I don't think I'll get steak, but I think Liam's excited. So talk to you guys later.
It's now Monday and I'm just here to end off the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. I always enjoy spending the week with you. But I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Goodbye.